Howdy folks, welcome back to Chuck and Steel. Well, I got my slingshots in and I was a little excited and I started cutting them open and I thought, well, why don't I do an unboxing? I've never done that, so here we are. I've already cut it open. I covered the dresses up, but let's go ahead and get them out. I haven't looked at them yet. Some nice pouches. Primeport catapult. Indonesia. And I can already tell you which one this one is just by feeling the weight of it. This one is the Hooligan. Look at the liners in that. That is just awesome. Go ahead and get the fingerprints on it. Feels to me like it's going to be a better on a pinch grip, but it feels good on a brace too, but it feels real good on a pinch grip. Let's get the other one out. Well, let's see what... I told him not to send any rubber, but I know he probably did. He always does. Yeah, he sent some rubber and some pouches. I've never seen this pouch before. Must be his new pouch or something. Yeah. Yours are probably come, yours will probably come different because uh, I told him not to send me the rubber or the attachment like the the, the wrench or none of that stuff. So yours will probably come with all that stuff. Oh man. PFX clipped version of it and I could tell you right now the PFX as far as center hold slingshots go where the handles in the center is by far my favorite slingshot I've ever held these things are just awesome and he sent the same thing with this one, looks like. Yep. A couple of pouches and some. I don't know what that is. That might be, uh, look how stretchy it is. Might be, I don't think it's sniper sling. I don't know. It could be. It's either precise or sniper sling. 0.5. But anyway. There they are. This is like a, when I picked it out, I thought it was black. But it's even better. It's like a really, really deep green. It looks black at first glance, but when you get it in a light, it's green. And it's got that olive drab colored green right there. Or not olive drab, but I don't know what you call it. It's like a in between a green and a gray, it matches the the lines inside the the deep green. It's just a beautiful slingshot, yeah. All right, so I'll put a lanyard on them and band them up, and we'll go outside and shoot them. See how they do. It's 106 degrees out here today. We don't get to pick the days we get to shoot. So here we are. Anyway. Y'all seen me unbox the, the two slingshots earlier. This is the Hooligan. It's made from brass and G10. It's just a stunning slingshot. That's all there is to say. But, uh, I've shot that little bit I shot two weeks ago when I made that video I shot maybe 60 times that day before it got dark and I hadn't shot since then so I've shot like 60 times in six weeks so y'all forgive me if I do some missing uh, also I'm, I'm so rusty I'm not gonna be doing full-on butter full my full butterfly draw just because I don't want to get a frame hit I'm, I'm just too rusty and I don't want to risk these new frames so we're just gonna 
We're gonna shoot long draw. I'm just not gonna full full butterfly. But anyway, I got a couple of cans and a spinner up down there. I think that's a 40 millimeter spinner, so Let's see how we do. I'm gonna try it brace grip first. Even though it feels better in the thump or in the pinch grip, I'm gonna try bracing it. We'll get up here at 33 feet. Go for the can on the right. These are my very first shots with it. I mean, so far, they're going pretty much where I'm aiming. Like this for anybody else but my, my shooting degrades in the summertime i shoot better in the fall or winter uh, i guess when i get hot i just i don't shoot as well most people shoot better in in the heat i don't Putting a can on a, a piece of slingshot tubing makes that can a lot harder to cut because it gives it more give and it'll last longer for you. It makes it more challenging. Rusty, I'm shaking. Shot through that hole. Try pinch gripping it. I think we can get a cut on this one. I'll do my part. I think I had, uh, if you want to count that, a miss because I shot through the hole I already shot. But, uh, shoots great I just got to get used to it I mean I can't get used to anything because I haven't shot in so long there's a quick look at it so 
All right, so uh, let's get the PFX flip version out. I mean, it's, uh, it's a work of art. That's all I can say. And like, I don't know if I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. On a center hold slingshot, where the handle is in the center of the sling slingshot, this is by far my favorite slingshot I've ever held. Got that other can. And while I'm on the point of that, I know, guys, we get caught up on shooting these tiny targets. These little spinners, you know, 30. I, I, usually, I practice on a 30 millimeter spinner most of the time. Sometimes I'll practice with a 40, and sometimes I'll practice with a 20. But for the better part, I, I practice a 30. That's the size of a quarter. We get used to shooting at small things like that. When we go to shoot at something big, it makes it hard for us. So we need to mix it up. Uh, we can't just shoot tiny targets all the time. Put a can up there because I'm more likely to miss a can than I am at 30 millimeter target. I mean, that's the facts of it. I'm way more likely to miss that can. The bigger the object is, the harder it is to focus on your aim point, if that makes sense. Anybody that's shot at a large animal deer or anything like that, you know what I'm talking about. You want to pick a spot out on that deer to aim at. You don't want to aim at the deer. So, let's do a little shooting here. Shot with the lanyard on. I mean, I haven't missed yet, so in my opinion, that's pretty good. I mean, that's practically haven't shot in six weeks. Shot one time in six weeks, just that little bit flip video. So I'm extremely rusty. That's unusual for somebody like me. I, I try to shoot every day if I can. I don't always get to because of work, but even if it's just a couple of shots. But Work's been so hectic and busy, I just ain't been able to shoot. Oh, and that day that I did do some shooting, it was all instinctive. I didn't even, I wasn't doing aiming shooting, so this is, this is it here. actually the first miss I've missed so far. I'm 
fighting the urge to want to flip my wrist. That's why I missed that one, because I flipped my wrist. Because I've been shooting instinctively a lot, and I flip my wrist when I shoot instinctively. Now that I'm aiming, I have to not flip my wrist. It's a bad habit. So I got somebody walking up the river, so I'm fixing to have to stop shooting. get a cut on it before you get to this way. Gotta stop shooting. One more shot, but probably got it. But. It's the PFX clip version. fantastic shooter I just gotta practice now so I'm gonna practice for a while cut the camera off and practice for a little bit as soon as this guy walks off thanks for watching guys